Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how we can do the modeling and texturing for a barrel like this. Uh, so you can use it in video games or export it to any uh, game engines and use it there. Okay, let's just start uh, with an empty scene. So I'm going to start modeling that barrel, so I'm going to click on Cylinder. Let me show you from the uh, different views. Uh, here I'm going to show you the left side so you can see actually how many segments do we have. So what we need, uh, I'm going to click on F so I can uh, focus on, on my object. Uh, what I need, I just need a few segments uh, along the heights, uh, like this. And click on the height segment so I can have a smooth barrel. What I need, I need to push these edges so it looks like a barrel. Uh, let's make height a bit higher, like this. I'm going to remove this uh, grid by clicking on G. Um, a little bit more, uh, let's say, 6 by 6, so it's going to be a bit bigger. And more segments to be smoother for the uh, corners of this cylinder. Okay, the next step, I'm going to go to the Tools. Let me make this one bigger so we can have better UI. I'm going to go to the Taper. So the Taper has uh, one amount. So I'm going to make it less than zero, so it's going to look like this. Yeah, it looks like a barrel. You can use the curve and change uh, how does it look like. I guess this is something that we really want. Yeah, now we have a simple barrel. Uh, now I'm going to push this so it doesn't look like so much flat. So what I need, uh, I'm going to need to select all these faces on the top. So there is one way that you can select one and all the planar faces to be selected. So you can select one of these and come here and says select faces by angles, for example, less than 15. So all these faces are selected. What I need to do is going to the face mode, click on insert. Now I added a new face. So I'm going to use the offset. Uh, so just a small edge. What I need to do just I needed to create a small edge around here, and the next step is just I'm going to call uh, click on bevel. Now I have to use a negative length so it can go in into the object. One segment is enough, so I'm going to select one segment, and the offset I'm going to use very very a small offset like this. So now I have a mesh at the top that. Uh, something like push so uh, as the cap of the barrel so let me show you how does it look like and underneath fl flat is so, uh, this was the part one of this tutorial how to model this barrel uh, please watch the part two so you can see how to do the texturing for this model thank you for watching